And it was a big week for thousands of eighth graders across the Big Apple who received their high school admission letters. But one Brooklyn family is frustrated tonight, blasting the Department of Education's revamped admission process, saying it's no longer about getting good grades, especially for high achieving students. The high school results were released and unfortunately I didn't get into any school that was on my list, which was absolutely shocking and devastating. Eric says it's been a wave of emotions. This after learning where he placed for high school. He had his eyes set on where he would spend the next four years. We applied to Goldstein, Millennium, and uh, two Midwood programs. And that was it. We only applied to four because we couldn't wrap our heads around the fact that it wasn't going to get into any of those. While he says he only applied to those four programs, this family can't understand why he didn't place. He showed us his report card with high achievements across the board for the 2020-2021 school year. He wakes up every day and asking why. Why you told me that if I study hard and, and I do everything I can, uh, I, you know, why am I not getting rewarded at this point? This family says Eric was placed at the Academy for Conservation and the Environment, a school they didn't even consider. Young Eric so frustrated, he wrote a letter to the Department of Education saying in part, the whole system that was put in place was meant to ensure equality. Instead, the exact opposite occurred. Now kids have even less opportunities. I feel like they didn't take people like me into account. Uh, someone like me, I try my best and and I had to write a letter because I needed to be heard. According to the DOE website, students' highest grades in four courses, English, math, social studies, and science, will be used in the admission process. They will choose the highest grade in each course from seventh grade and end of term grades from eighth grade. The points are averaged to determine which of four lottery groups students fall into. It is what it is. Nobody's perfect, but that's not fair for the A students, right? That's not fair for an A a plus student. Eric and Eddie feel the new system lowers the bar for some to get into competitive high schools and with information rolled out late, made the wait nerve wracking. I feel like the city failed to properly explain all the information. There was only limited information and um, I heard a lot of different ways that they were ranking students. Now we did reach out to the Department of Education on this very important issue and to see if there is an appeal process for dissatisfied students and parents, but we'll let you know when we hear back from them.